you're still with me. Welcome to Wolf Creek. Oh man, this road is awesome. This is no piece of cake here. Y'all seen me on here before. Problem with my videos is it's always the same roads, always the same places. Thank you. Always the same roads, same places. I try to go different places, but you run out of choice. cool if we met up there at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be on a little bit quicker than my norm today on here. Had a great day. Um, chose to just go off as a group of three instead of 20 or 15 or even 10. And um, I know part of the whole point of this was to have group rides, but at the same time, for me, like now I'm gonna go back. Dinner's at six, three thirty. We got loads of time. Um, I didn't want to end. I don't want to stop riding, but anyway, uh, definitely three. It's manageable. Plus the three of us were very just laid back and having a good time and. Want to go that way? Yeah, let's go that way. Okay, let's go. And that was the ride today. So, much more enjoyable for me, in my mind, than a 10 or 20 person group ride. Um, uh, man, they fixed this road up. This road used to be tow up, <laughs> which made it fun. But now it's Nothing. Don't want to get in that middle, though. How nice. Oh, now, this gravel is a no good. Where's that little soft stuff? There we go. Ah, this gravel. Good, good. <laughs> that I hardly ever take to get on my correct side of the room. Thank you. And get down here and take that road down left and that'll take us back to Suches. Go get a shower in. Chill with the guys and talk and take the laptop. They want to take the laptop and stuff and go sit inside and hook it up and uh, do some work in there. That'd be fun. I'll take it. Yeah, it's funny to do. Take that. So we shall see how. Recapping yesterday, I am at the Georgia Mountain Adventure 2016. Feels like um, it needs another word there, but Georgia Mountain Adventure. Rally, ride. And yesterday was Friday. I didn't get here until around 4. I jumped on the CRF straight away. And I went off on Flatland Road. I took out a little 15-mile 
track route. Not long. Took me about an hour as I got stuck and I had some issues and I made some really, really, really bad choices. Um, not very happy with my choices. I was just so excited and wanted to ride and, and should have just kept going. I should have just rode the road like I said I wanted to do and come back. But I tried other things and and they were just bad choices. Um, but it was awesome, awesome road. I will be back on it, never on this bike, I don't think. I doubt I will ever do that road on, yeah, I'll probably try to stick the Jeep in there one day. <laughs> I won't lie. It's got some funky spots, though. Some crazy spots. Pretty spot. These are all RNG and brown and red there on the ground. And then you can see pretty far down the little roads. Needed a picture. So this road I never take, hardly ever take this road. It's gotta have a number. Could be the one that goes down there. I'm hoping it's not a dead end. I don't think it is. I've been down it before. I thought it actually just ends up further down. But we're about to find out. Four o'clock, we hit that. Let's see how long it takes us to get through this. like somebody was behind me. I see your red light still flashing, so you're still with me. We're on an unnamed road that I don't know the name of. <laughs> Didn't see any signs yet. I'm on the wrong side of the road over here. Where are we? Where are we? with us yeah you are wow you're still with us we have been riding now for 9 30 10 30 11 30 12 31 32 33 30 4 30 seven hours i'm gonna say six hours with an hour lunch we didn't really start at 9 30 we started more closer to 10 like 9 45 He rode for me. We've done today Cooper's Gap Road just south of Sutches. Turned it back up into I don't know the name of that other road. What was it? Oh yeah, Fish Hatchery. Cooper's Gap over to Fish Hatchery. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the name of that road. We call it Fish Hatchery around here. Fish Hatchery. Then we crossed over into Duncan Ridge. But first we did Sea Creek Falls, Creek Crossing. And then we got onto Duncan Ridge. Went Duncan Ridge all the way out to 180. That 180, we um, 
went out to 129, 129 north. We went out and had barbecue. We came back south a little bit to 180, three, no, yeah, 180, 348. So we ended up at Hilton Creek, Hatchet Creek Road. We did a few off of that road, little explore rides, little dead ends, but there's some fun ones off of there because it's such a short road. And then the other Kevin and Evan headed home after that, or back to their to the campground. And I came out and I've done Wolf Creek. Ended up back on Duncan Ridge, so I did Duncan Ridge the opposite way. Then took Havender Gap, I want to say it's called. I don't know the name of the second road that I took out of there like that. And then... Kind of run over. Right, still be further south. Right? Ah, shit, left is further south. Oh, well. Okay. Um, Cavender Gap, I want to say was the name of that road, which then led me to this Johnny Gap. And now I'm going to hit 60, and I'll be back at such as in no time. So, yeah. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. I'm at 103 miles. You can't cry, man. Shoo! Okay. Oh, you're still with me. I'm going to take you on. Uh... Junction 180. This is Suches. Big town of Suches. We got a post office. Property Mount Real Estate. Going out of business. No, it's there. Gas station with no gas. And then I'm going to take you on in on. Uh... place here. This is two wheels of such as. <laughs> no. See if we go fine. I just want you to see the whole little campground. Got the whole little campground here. If it's up at the top, there's his little sit up. Still there. <laughs> 